It's here. Can you feel it? That oh, was my man. first tweet this morning. Oh. Olympics. It's going to kick off in a matter of hours. Sadly, the opening ceremony is going to be quite late South African time, but you still want to catch it if you can. Why? Because South Africa is so well represented this year. If you thought Beijing was successful for the South African team, we got, I think, a sixth place in the middle we hall, did. which six, was pretty impressive. Goals. Unbelievable. I think a total, yeah, 30 medals. Unbelievable. It is going to be a great showing, but we thought it's time to introduce you to some of our Paralympians. We know Oscar steals all the headlines, but we've got some guys and girls who have and competing for years and doing us proud. One man who I was lucky enough to interview when I was a young, young mm -hmm. guy, and when I first started doing sports on the SABC, Ernst van Dijk oh. is a living yes, legend. One of the greatest athletes of all time. In fact, in 2006, he won the Laureus um, Sports Award for his discipline. And I mean, he competes in everything. He's won the London Marathon before. Boston Marathon mm, numerous times, New York Marathon. Performer. Uh, so Ernst van Dijk, you know the country is going to be behind you. And he still looks like he is in his prime. He just never taps no. off. No, and he doesn't age either. A very good looking guy. Ilza Hayes Ooh. is the next one we're celebrating. <laughs> a visually impaired athlete that has a distinct record of winning three medals over two Olympic Games for three different disciplines. She won a bronze for the 400 meters in Athens, a silver in 100 meters in Beijing, and gold for the long jump in Beijing. Mm, she is going to have a fine year. She is looking in top form. Zanel Suti, the beautiful athlete, well, she has got a backstory of note. She lost the use of her legs after an accident when she was just 12 years old. Um, she has been confined to a wheelchair since, but she did an incredible number um, at the Paralympics in 2004 um, in the 200 meters, and she is the first black South African Paralympics Olympic athletes to win a gold medal. So she also started a trend. And we've seen some athletes really follow in her footsteps. Incredible. Fanny Fani Fanamaro is our next uh, athlete. He actually has a BCom, a BA sports science degree from the University of Stellenbosch. He suffers from cerebral palsy. He's the defending 100 and 200 meter world champion uh, in his various categories. And I think it's incredible, man, to be able to keep up with your sport, to keep up with your studies, and going to the Olympic Games. And remember, none of these guys are fully professional. They've got to do it all off their own steam. So and it's their inspiring. Own well, this is it. Mm. And I think it inspires our able bodied athletes just as much. Then Shireen Shapiro also has an incredible life story. She suffered a water skiing accident at 13 that left her with life threatening injuries. In fact, she was just about cut in half by that blade. Unbelievable the way that she has come back. And she's also absolutely gorgeous. Uh, um, I we're saw her last throw week. Yeah, and she looked amazing she at the Paralympics. She is beautiful. Sandals. What a nice send off as well. Mm -hmm. um, within four years, she had set a new world record in the 50 meter backstroke and a year after that she won gold for the 100 meter backstroke that was at the Beijing Games. I think she is going to be watched very closely this year. And the man that I chatted to as well last week, Hilton Langenwerf, and hoping to complete his five gold Olympic rings. He's already got three gold uh, Paralympic medals. He's hoping to bring two more home and he will get the five Olympic rings. His triple gold medals at Beijing. He set a new world a record in pentathlon, a Paralympic record for long jump, ran 200 meters in 21.9 seconds. This man is incredible. They are all dynamic athletes and we are hoping to go one step better than that sixth place at Beijing. But to all of our Paralympians, good luck guys. We're going to be watching you so closely. We're going to kick off with our Olympic updates on a daily basis after the opening ceremony tonight. And all the best of luck to Oscar. He's racing this weekend. If you want to catch the opening ceremony, check it out on your home of the Olympics and Paralympics, SABC2. They'll start their coverage at 10 p.m. Be ready to have some all blurry eyes tomorrow morning because this is going to be an awesome opening ceremony. Cannot wait. We'll see you after this.